Oh. <laughs> TT said that's supposed to be a hit and run. You're not supposed to leave the evidence. You left the evidence. We're not tapping nothing without a bag that's on point of. <laughs> that's a no go. We don't do that. Being creative. Trey, what are you? I think he's a great entertainer and he makes great music. My biggest, you know, my opinion on the whole thing was like, it just puts you in a different category if you are not writing all your verses. New York, yeah. get tuned that in to the king. Yes. High 97, should I give you something else? Don't something Please, else give me on? something else. Come on, man. I'm ready. Give me something else. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. New York, I see you. Look, Oliver 40, I see you. Nico, what up? Who? All right. All right. All right. I got you. If you want to be in the category of Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole, Got down, man down, shoot them all round and don't play around. Dirty man chopper, shoot them man down, don't never. Man, what's good, YouTube family? This your boy, Bless One, back at it again. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Go ahead and smash that like button, that notification bell, subscribe. Make sure you share this video and comment. Man, it don't stop. It just keeps coming back and back. Look, the beef that's in hip hop will never die down. This shit is hip hop, man. Y'all know they always gonna take this shit back to the streets. And Funk Flex does not rest. Funk Flex is calling out Drake, and Drake is ready for the smoke. Drake called they made Poonani, you are pussy. Let's look at the actual Instagram tweets and tell. Drake made sure he wasted no time and responded ASAP with the Patois reference to, you know, the once upon a time friend of his being a all time pussy. This is what he's calling this man. He calling him out his name. We know Flex is about to respond. This is not even if, it's when will he respond back. Now I know you're reading those Instagram posts and you're like, what? Now to much of you who don't know, Drake used to be kind of very close to Funk Flex. After his Cash Money family gave him notoriety, Drake got real close to Funk Flex. He got invited to a freestyle session. As you guys are looking at in the pics here, they, they were gonna become the best duo of media and artists and then things transpired over the time frame. As you know, Funk Flex started bringing up the Meek Mill situation situation and things kind of just went left from over there but before the meat mill situation and the escapade took place many of you guys forgot to realize there was a situation with a cell phone in the room and drake didn't do a too good freestyle and people ridiculed him for that and he blamed funk flex for that here's a, here's what happened that night I, yeah young <laughs> young what up Available on DVD Monday. Yeah. Drake, what's good, my brother? I'm here, man. I'm ready. I remember, I remember listening the last time I listened to one of these flex. Um, what's you good? know, the boy said something. He said, You're gonna see how Funk Flex is hyping it up. Here's the second half of this freestyle. It just wasn't really a good look for Drake. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hot 97. Should I give you something else? Throw something Please, else Please, give me on? something else. Come on, man. I'm ready. Give me something else. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. New York. I see you. Look. Oliver 40. I see you. Nico, what up? Who? All right. All right. All right. I got you. Now, that was not their only encounter. Some people forgot that Funk Flex been knew that people like Push Your Team never liked Drake. Drake is gonna go to a second interview with Funk Flex, and their second meeting, Drake still seemed a little bit nervous to be there, but he held himself well together until the questions came coming in from Funk Flex. He started asking him FBI type questions, and well, you guys take a look out of the video clip. Push Your Team, 
Th- nah. Things will only escalate after all those circumstances and situation. Drake wasn't playing no more. The OVO headmaster in charge began going on relentless attacks during his shows, calling out one Mr. Funk Flex. Check out now Drake, the R&B crooner slash rapper slash pop, whatever he is, he sells, he makes hits. Drake didn't stop from there after asking for Funk Flex to be fired. He just goes on more attack again. This is another year after that incident. Check this out. Hey, keeping New York music alive. I don't mean going and playing the songs like four weeks late and shit, trying to sound cool. Late night, prime time on the radio, seven to nine o'clock, talking all that bullshit. I mean, shout out to the real DJs that know about the real music and shit like that. Shout out to New York City. It's love, you already know. My name is Drake. I'm here to fuck with you tonight. Fuck the rest of that bullshit. I'm out here, you already know. Now, people don't remember Young Drake. Young Drake, the Degrassi actor, wheelchair Jimmy, he was kind of passive aggressive. And in this instant, as he maturated and matured, you're hearing the rumors about what happened with him and Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy taking a piss on him, educational purposes. That kind of made Drake grow some balls. And in this case, Funk Flex also grew some balls and he called out the rapper relentlessly. He's gonna call out Drake baby mama porn star situation. Yeah. Yeah. Porn star's never good at anybody's book to marry. <laughs> like, bruh, that's, I don't, listen, you, y'all can get mad at me if y'all want. That's never good. That's knock up, forget it. That was supposed to be a hit and run. Oh. <laughs> Facts. TT said that's supposed to be a hit and run. You're not supposed to leave the evidence. You left the evidence. We're not tapping nothing without a bag that's on porn of. <laughs> that's a no go. We don't do that. Drake, what are you thinking? <laughs> Look, man, clearly Drake is not to be disrespected in these streets at all. Drake is ready for the beefs. He's ready for whatever. Because clearly after that incident with the porn star... Oh, let's just say after Pusher T released the information after the porn star, you know, wheelchair Jimmy Drake simmered down a little bit, but things turned up again. I'm about to show you a series of clips of what was going on. Here is a history of the backlog track records of the Drake and Funk Master Flex beefs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, it's all love out here in New York City, man. You know what it is. Shout out my brother Daniel in here, Division in here tonight. I'm gonna let you know you rocking with DJ Self and DJ Spade. <laughs> this ain't this this ain't that other weak shit. You know what I'm saying? This that real shit. This where you're supposed to be tonight. And I'ma say his people that pop that aren't his people anymore. At the time they were his people. Alright? So he lays the verse on the song. He gets pressed and questioned, his team. They punk panic and give up the reference track to say, whoa! He didn't write it. This guy wrote it. That's how that came about. And you know I know that story, punk. Now, in the panic mode, in the because st- you don't want to get pressed, you don't want it to step to you, that reference track floats up. But then, that same dude has a few more. Now it's out of control. So in, in, in- Look, man, I can't make sense of all this. All I can tell you is I understand from both sides. I understand from Drake constantly being disrespected by these media outlets who are supposed to be non-biased you start feeling targeted and attacked it's already enough you have to deal with proper Razi, but your own hip-hop comrades are going at you relentlessly it's understandable and coming from the perspective of hot 97 fuck flex he is a historian in this he's been here since the beginning day one he's been trained by the founders of this so it's only right a man of his stature when he sees people are getting 
all these accolades and they don't even put in the effort the lyrics the time they have writers they're not writing their own rap it's almost blasphemy to old heads such as funk flex and to quite frankly it's even blasphemy to me but in this entertainment fake world we live today i don't think i need to put pressure on drake so it is what it is man peace y'all one love Man, thank you for watching and supporting my platform. Go ahead and look out for my Instagram and follow me. Then after that, I want y'all to go travel down to the Twitter page. Come follow me on Twitter and make Twitter popping again. Then I want you guys to go to my SoundCloud. Go hear all the great music that I have available for you. Love your family. Love your kids. Bless. Dirty Rasta Chopper, shoot the man down, man down. Shoot them around and don't play around. Dirty man chopper, shoot the man down. Don't never play no man around. Okay, okay. Call me Mr. Big Zo. Whoa, whoa.